Okay. Let's see what's in here. I'm putting some gloves on. I don't know where this came from. And I think there's a there's a portable toilet or a bucket with some waste in it. I can smell that. Alright, there's a drawer. Oh she got here. your support rods when you extend the tent trailer okay mattress uh -oh. Oh, that was put in there with love wasn't it yeah someone just jammed that in there put that over here Ugh. Wow, first peak. What's in there? And another cushion. Ugh. Who knows? Boy, it smells like pee. That's what it smells like. It smells like pee. Ugh. Gross. Ugh. Other people's pee, too. Don't want to touch anything in there. So, I don't know. That's the sink there, well, that, that thing would flop up, so that's the bottom of the sink showing there. It's probably a gas cooktop. And we saw on the other side where there's a fridge. I don't see where that pee, or whatever water's in there that smells like that is, where the source of that is, I don't see a container. I see the fridge, maybe there was, ugh, who knows? Who knows? Okay. Let's just see this top. Maybe I'll prop it up a little bit. Let me get a few sticks and see if I can prop that up. Okay, I made a little bit of progress in trying to get this thing opened up at least. And opened up and pulled out some of that stuff out of there. So what I did was I looked underneath here underneath in the back here and what you got here you got a you got a crank it comes in a crank handle comes in and there's these it's just a simple shaft here with there's there's two spots on it that cables go to I figured out that the the two cables that run from the front two front corners come back go around a pulley come over and they go to this uh, spool right there. They, they they tie on there, they're both broken. And the two from the back, one comes from this side, one comes from that side, they go to this spool here. So what I did was I just took a the, the loose end of cable and I, I basically just put it through here on this side and through there on that side. I tied it just to see if I could get them to lift. And sure enough, I was able to lift the back about a foot and then after I got it lifted up about a foot, what I did, what I did was I just put a couple of blocks of wood in as I went up. I put a block like this at first and then I stood it on end. And so now I got a block. See, I got a block on this corner here. I lifted that up by hand on this side. Once I got the back up a bit, I was able to lift this up a bit. It's got a two by four stuck under there. It's really rough, yes, I know. So what I'm trying to do is basically the, the tent, when it's assembled, is zips down on the outside of this lift post. So I found the zipper 
and I've unzipped it and that way I can get I can just see the whole post here and I've unzipped this one okay and I can see right here uh, the bottom cable has jumped off the pulley right here see it's jumped over it's supposed to be on top of that pulley there so that's the one that broke but it's, uh, it's jammed in there now so that's why it worked it lifted it but this far anyway uh, it's got to all be changed if I want to keep it keep these functioning but what I've been trying to do next I was just thinking you know this is looking at this I was gonna see if I could get the tent out of it um, I was just looking inside here now there's a bunch of old mattresses and stuff I threw them all out they're all I put them over there they're going in the garbage and uh, uh, you know it's got like I say, I didn't look at this when I bought it. I just bought it all closed up, sight unseen. So I didn't know what was in here. So there's the door. The door flops down here once it's up to height. Looks like it's been taped, maybe taped up in place because it's not staying up in place. I don't know what the story is on that. And right here, this is the bottom of your sink and that's the bottom of your you have a two burner. Let's see here. Let's see. See that flops up, there's a sink, there's a two burner gas cooktop and there's a propane furnace, it's an old style and there's a three-way fridge. And my suspicions are that somewhere in one of these cupboards there's a pea bucket that didn't get dumped. That stinks. So I'm not going in there without my gloves on. And I look down in here, there was a couple of things down there. I see a wheel for the hitch there. If no one hears from me again, and they're looking for me, I'm somewhere trapped inside this tent trailer because it's collapsed on me. It's guillotined me. Uh, the things I get myself into. Uh, I gotta just stop looking at classified ads. That's just the end of me, you know? Oh, I see these things and they're like, oh, <coughs> only $100. I can. I can fix that up, or I can scrounge parts off of it, or whatever, or make a make a utility trailer out of it, or, you know, how many people have done this, you know, they get, they look at something and they think, oh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll just take all the trailer off that and I'll make a trailer out of it, I'll make a, I'll make a Saturday morning trailer out of it, you know? But it's like, it's never easy. It's never what you think it's going to be. It's always worse. Okay, uh, at first I started taking out the tent pieces very carefully. And then I come to realize that, you know, they're ripped and they're frail. You know, they, they tear really easily. There's places down here where they've been starting to tear up and they're tearing aside, so pretty much just gave up on taking them out in you know carefully they're probably not going to be reused so moving on to plan plan B okay so took the propane bottle off of here and it's actually a good propane bottle it's uh, only three years old so that's good and what I've done here is I've uh, Taking the, the hose off for the water feed to the sink. This is the sink and everything off tip down. And I'm gonna take the gas line off the stove here. That's uh, five eighths and three quarter, if you're wondering. It took me two trips to the toolbox to come back with the right wrenches. Okay. And of course, there's a hose there, so it allows it to flex when they tip this up and down. Set that in there for now. This is the bottom of the two burner uh, cooking element. Two burner uh, propane stove. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the screws out over here. And get my drill. I'm just gonna take the screws out. Let me think. Uh, I guess I'll take the whole hinge out. Get that out of the way.
I found the source of the smell. In one of those little cupboards up at the end there, there was a... Brace yourself. There's a gallon milk jug, half full of pee. Tipped over. Isn't that great? Not my pee either. Somebody else's pee. That's no fun. I have to sterilize everything. I'm not touching anything. Gross. Here it comes. Here it comes. Uh, just set that down here. And there it is. It's a Coleman. Coleman two burner propane stove and a little sink with a, with a tap on it. I see there's another stove element on the floor there. Don't think it's broken. Nope, just fell off. There's that pin. Yeah. There, that'll clean up pretty good too, usually. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's the first look I get at the furnace. Right there, that's the old time furnace. Uh, I don't think there's a fan in that one. It's just a, just a pot and the, the burner is in the bottom and it just goes out like that and it just, by having the fire burning in the can is where you get your heat. So there's no forced air of any sort. I don't even think there's a fan behind it blowing it out. And they say never look in the fridge, but let me see what's in the fridge. Ugh. Yeah, pretty gross. Par for the course. Um, it says it's a Dometic 211. And I looked on the little door around the other side here a while ago and it said what it said it was was a Dometic what's it say so see here Dometic RM183 so maybe that's the same thing it looks like oh, it could have been changed but yet to know if that works something interesting that was in behind the bed on this here <laughs> The vodka bottle, it looks like a gun. And a knife. Look at that thing. Looks like a... I don't know. Looks like a ceremonial dagger of some sort. Yeah. Wow. That was someone's bedside protection. It was in there. That's where I found it. In that little cubby. It'll stay there for now. Puh. Look at this. Wow. Hey, bonus. There's new cable here. Ha ha. There's new cable. So somebody had the idea for it to put cable in it. There's the wheel for the front. Yeah. Hey, hey, you never know what's under the seats. Not just buckets of pee. Ah, what's this? Two by four. What's in here? I never want to look. Puh. There's a few coins up in the back there. Oh, that smells awful in there. And here's the your electrical that goes up for your ceiling light and uh, your running lights for your trailer. I've just clipped that out of there. And what's in here? Okay. Okay, so there's a breaker, main breaker. There's not much of a complex panel on this. There's no battery charger or anything. There's no converter. It's just if you've got AC, you get a bit of AC to these outlets in here. There's looks like there's one there. There's one around the other side. There's your cord, or I should say the cable. And here's the fill for the water tank, but the water tank's gone. And so is the pump then. So the water tank and the pump are gone. Unless... Yeah, the pump would usually be pretty close to the tank. I don't see a pump. All right. And the little table. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Let's set that aside. 
Wow. Pair of socks. Gross. Someone had a 12 volt uh, charging port here, looks like. Yeah. Huh. And that's what's under there. There it is. And that's what it looks like without the roof on it. And there's the furnace. Let me just put this out of here. Set it down here for now. And there it is. <laughs>